Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratku Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 31st to January 6th, 2018 uh, and 19th, excuse me so, uh, <clears throat> that being said, I want to remind you while I'm shuffling the cards that this is going to be a, a general reading for Virgo star sign therefore it's going to de de resonate in a different way with every single different Virgo. So for that reason in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but at the end uh, you will have to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do um, <clears throat> to analyze your situation just like I'm doing for the examples in this video well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is uh, listed down below into the description of this video and there uh, you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricing so very interesting cards is what we do have for you Virgo the first card that is the eight of cups which is the topic of your week a page of pentacles that is going to be the core of the situation then we do have the Ace of Cups, which is the challenges that are causing predicaments. And the last one, that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles, which is the Guidance. And the most important card, the way I see it here, is the Guidance card, the, the Queen of Pentacles. If you don't grasp that Guidance, then a lot of things, a lot of the things that you are dealing with can go seriously wrong. So what this card is telling you here, Virgo, that there are multiple ways how you can approach something or alternatively it tells you that you still have options available in already in your in your framework or how it's called yeah it's kind of like a framework the things that you are dealing with you still have a an options available or the opportunities around you that are created for you yet you are not capitalizing on them and why things can go wrong in case you decide you know that you already exhaust all of your options available and you move along into a, a brand new enterprise that is the thing that you should not do throughout this week December 31st to January 6, 2019. Furthermore supported here by the Ace of Cups which does represent this, um, it's not amusing but let's say thrilling circumstances which are allowing you to start a, to make a new beginning or to kind of like um, basically have a, a different point for you to look forward to so basically this is going to be challenging and it most likely not gonna happen for many of you Virgo so instead of um, constantly wobbling around or trying to uh, initiate a, a new start throughout this week I'm not saying that you don't have to but at least throughout this week you have to salvage in case you are finding yourself into a um, disadvantageable position you gotta salvage whatever it is left there and make use of it because for what it seems even though here with the eight of cups the situation may not be pleasant for you or it may not me meet your expectation that situation could be traversed in a couple of ways the first is that you just you know draw a line draw the line uh resign about the current performance or the current state of the matter and start thinking of how you can improve it so we're talking about a, a continuously prolonged enterprise that have been already started by the way it does look like that for every sign until now we are talking about something that started from the previous year that it is proceeding in this year as well uh, that it has to be finalized it, I guess this is the topic uh, for that week for the majority of the star sign of the star signs and you are not making an exclusion here uh, Virgos so you can just draw the line like I said and uh, start how can I place it? Do something about it from now on. Or 
Alternatively, the Eight of Cups is about the fresh wind, the 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 uh, the, uh, the different kind of like uh, the different performance, if I may express it that way, toward one enterprise. So one can see uh, is that enterprise going to change in any way. I ho I hope that I'm making it clear here. I will give a couple of examples after I'm done with the interpretations of the cards. So the Eight of Cups, additionally, it does represent that if you are in a uh, wrong path for yourself, for example, if you are asking, am I on the right track? Am I on the right path? It does look like that this week, December 31st to uh, January 6th, you one way or another you are gonna find one of your right paths you don't have only just one you do have many and one of them is going to be known to you and you are going to embark it you already have it at your disposal and for what i can say here with these cards you are not entirely convinced that that is something for you well it is and one way or another you will have to contribute for it how it's gonna happen well that depends entirely um, on you. It could happen the hard way around. For example, you may be left extremely disappointed of a uh, initiation that you do or a new beginning that you try to initiate and that will bounce you back into previous undertaking that you have to develop even further. All right? Or it could happen the easy way around. You know, you recognize that you haven't used all of your options available. You did not examine all of them and you got to do it uh, before you actually scratch that enterprise off and uh, move on to the next one that it is presented to you further into the future. Additionally, so that is supported by the Page of Pentacles, which points to a, a long-term goal that have been already started because this card, it is in the core of the situation, something that you already rely on. The, this card, it is forcing the Eight of Cups. So because of the Page of Pentacles, you are experiencing the Eight of Cups, meaning that the Page of Pentacles is already presented. <clears throat> so uh, just to conclusion here, if you are, well, I would have say worthless or kind of lost, all right? So if you are feeling lost, uh, that is for the reason because you may not have a clamorous belief for your undertakings or for your enterprises for that matter. So in other words, you are doubting your personal capabilities or you are not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Why? That is because you are not using all the means that are there for you and you do have the means to capitalize on every single benefit that you can that are your that are at your disposal at this very moment and now let's give a, a couple of examples so if we go relationship wise obviously these cards are uh, advising you they're not saying something that is carved in stones i mean you can completely disregard that reading if you know the answer doesn't suit you and move along with whatever you choose is best for you but this reading here it's saying that you should not seek for a new love you do have one that it is already to be exhausted you do have one that you still have connection and you still have what to consume from it therefore you have to do whatever it's necessary or whatever it's needed to be done in order to either reconcile or to uh, to make peace with your for example current uh, wife or husband that you are in a bad terms with all right so you got to bury down the hatchets if i may express myself that way and especially if you do have children here that card could represent the children so you gotta give each other a, a second chance for the sake of the children all right and that will bounce you back on the right track so you're gonna find a common ground and etc etc if we're talking about projects these cards are pointing that even if you start a, a new project you try a new enterprise into your career that em enterprise it's likely to be amusing it's likely to be that thing that gives you emotional satisfaction therefore you're gonna bounce back to seek that emotional satisfaction in already 
developed or to a certain extent developed a uh, enterprise that you have worked upon until this very moment. So basically this reading for you Virgo it is um, asking you to examine your current enterprises and undertakings a little bit more thoroughly and you will definitely find a way how to make them successful or if, if they are going in a bad way, they are going downhill, you will find a way how to traverse them into a successful enterprise. So that being said, this was your tarot reading Virgos for the uh, December 31st to January 6th, 2019. And now I will shuffle the Lenormand cards and uh, they are going to show us a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or try to avoid. So the first card that we do have, this is the lilies and the lily stands for uh, <clears throat> material gains, it does stand as well for sex alternatively, it does stand as well for um, elders like family and sometimes it does stand for purity. The next one that is the, the um, lady and the lady is standing for a woman. And the last one, this is going to be the moon. The moon card stands for recognition, it stands for fame, it does stand for how the other sees you. So if you are a woman, these cards are showing that you are going to change the opinion of the others and they are going to see you as a very sincere and pure person. And that could very well happen if you don't give up from your current undertaking. And you are going to receive a recognition for it. If you are a man, then it does look that a, a sincere woman here that we do have, a, a pure woman, will have a, a physical attraction and there will be a chemistry in between you and her and you can definitely make some something out to happen but whatever you want to I mean to happen with her and you or to happen in between you both it goes through the sex so basically that was your Tarot and Lenormand reading Virgos for uh, December 31st to January 6th 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again that was a general reading for Virgo star signs therefore it will resonate with every single different Virgo in a different level. In this video I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end uh, you will have to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation because different Virgos has different situations. If you want um, your situation to be put through analysis just like I did for the examples in this video that is a subject for personal reading and for personal reading uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!